Good morning guys. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, Inshallah, uh, as I mentioned to you in the class, today we are going to talk about a graph lab. So if you remember, we have talked about uh, Uh, how to uh, represent uh, a, a graph as array, as matrix. So today we are going to represent this graph as matrix, inshallah. And we hope uh, uh, that you will understand the idea of the idea of uh, representing the graph. So inshallah, we will create our matrix. We will count the edges. We will count the vertex. We will find uh, the path. Now, for the matrix, we have uh, guides for representing the graph in the matrix as matrix or to represent these vertices. We need two array. The first array is vertex array. The second array is the edge array. The first array is one dimension. The second array, as we have mentioned, is two dimension. In these cells, we might have zero or one or uh, the width. In our example today in the lab, inshallah, we will, inside these cells, we will set uh, the weight of the graph or in the graph. Now, uh, Insha'Allah, uh, now I will go to uh, next. Here is some sample of code that we are going to talk about, Insha'Allah, once I open the Java code. And uh, here is the main method for implementing or applying the code. Now here is an example for uh, graph and he's uh, running a sample for this graph after implementing uh, as we have seen the code above. We will explain this code inshallah in this example. So we'll change this to matrix. We will change this to set of vertex, vertices and two dimension array. Inshallah, as edge, and we will set the agency between these vertex, and we will try to print them, count them, and so on, and so on. Now, uh, I will go to the to Java code again. Please try to take a look at this. We have, for example, from A to B, 4, from A, A to E, 7, from, we have from B to A, 4, from B to D, 2, weight, the weight is 2, from C to D, the weight is 6, from C to B, the weight is 1, and so on. So uh, this is what we are going to do, inshallah. I will clear the drawing now and go to the to Java code directly. <clears throat> so now I will show you the uh the code. So here is the weighted graph that we are going to represent, and here is the classes. We have this is the main program, and this is our graph here, our class for weighted graph. So as I have mentioned, we are going to represent this as weighted graph. Uh, as you can see here, we will have two arrays to so, uh, represent. Now uh, we have array, one dimension array for the vertex. Vertices, this one. Okay, it will be created based on the size for this constructor. 
and also we will have the edges here. Here is the edges, and here is the vertex or vertices array. Now, as you can see here, the uh, the row here is the same value of the uh, sorry the size of the one dimension array here of the vertex is exactly the same number of rows in the two dimension array. So here we have size which is equal to the number of elements inside the vertex, uh, vertex array. And also the array here, of course, is a squared array. So because the row is equal, the number of rows equal number of columns, because we are, uh, as you know, we are going to represent the vertices like this, A, B, C, D, and we are going to represent them in the same order here. So, the number of rows and column is the same. So this is why we have here both sides. And here also we have initialized this array by the size. Now, for getting the uh, edge size, I will return each size. So for uh, size of edges, we have E size. And also for the size of vertices, we have uh, V size. So this is uh, to distinguish between them just, this is just to dist uh, distinguish between these sizes. And now uh, we have, uh, again, uh, as I have explained in the class is edge. This is a Boolean function, as you can see, return the column if the cell value here is greater than zero, one or more. For example, if we want to check this, this one is not greater than zero, so it will return false. This one is, for example, 100. So I will pass here um, a row, which is zero, a column zero, one, two. So I, I will pass here zero and two. After that, I will return this row is row of zero and uh, two. Greater than 100, it's true. So in that case, uh, that case this will be counted or considered as edge. Now, set vertices, this is to fill the vertices array. Of course, it is one dimension array, so I will pass the string. It is array of a string as we have mentioned, and I will give, uh, I will pass the location of this array. So if I want to fill A here, I will pass A in row zero. So A will be here. If I want to set another vertices, I will set, for example, pass B, 1, C, 2, D, 3, E, 4, and so on. Now, getting the vertices, I will return the value from a specific row. It is like the, like the set, but it depends on the row. Now, uh, for setting the edge now, uh, for uh, that mean I'm going to set the value in the two dimension array. So in setting the edge, I need row, column, and weight here. Row, column, and weight. So if I want to set the value here, for example, uh, for A equal B equal four. So I will set the value here in row zero, uh, column one, uh, the value four. So A, A is zero. A is zero, B is one. So I am going to set the value here uh, to four. It is the weight between A and B. And in that case, again, this edge will be equal to two. Okay. And now uh, also I will get the edge. So I, it is, I, these edges are, as I have mentioned, saved in two-dimension array. So I will return a value based on the row and call. Now, uh, removing edge, uh, it is actually not physically removing the edge. We just set the value to zero. We actually, we, do, we don't remove the edge. We don't know any shifting process. We just set the edge by specifying the row and column to zero. So if this is four, for example, and I want to remove the edge, I will write remove edge for 
zero, row zero, and column one. So this uh, piece of code or calling this function, remove edge will set the value to zero. This means that this edge uh, is no longer edge or no longer adjacent, A is no longer adjacent to B in, in, because I have set zero. So is edge will return, is edge function will return false. Now for counting the vertices now, for counting the vertices, now I, of course, I will count them. So I will pass row by row through the two dimension array. And I will check <clears throat> here, row by row, row 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. And I will start to check if it's edge, I will count to the, my count. And in every row, I will, for example, write, uh, now row will be zero, so vert uh, vertices of row zero, this is the edge, and this is the vertices. So we have here A, B, C, D, E, for example. Now, I will, uh, uh, this is the for loop. So this is statement following this one, okay? So, now I will print. I will print here the vertex number of adjacent vertex to A, vertex row, layer A, row zero. It will be, for example, it, we will start going column by column. I will check of SH. For example, if there is here we have four and here we have seven, then I have two. I will start searching for it row by row, and I will check if it's edge row uh, and in this row and this column, so I will increase the counter. Finally, I will print the edge from the vertices here for row zero, then I will print what the counter. So this one or this for loop start from here to here. Okay. And then I will, I will print the edges of B, E, and D. Okay. Uh, now, if I want to print the vertices, of course, it depends on the output here. As you can see, we are printing vertices and uh, uh, edge, uh, the edge to A or the adjacent, adjacent vertices to A, which is B and E. B is 4 and E is 7 and so on. For B, we have A4, C1, D2, and so on. So uh, now for this code, <clears throat> I will go to explain this code quickly, inshallah. Uh, it is the last piece of code here. And uh, we have uh, for int row equals zero, while row is than v size, row plus plus. I will print now vertices of row, row equal for, for, first, for the first run, zero. So A of Z had a vertice, vertices. Here we have A. B again C D E so we have rows of zero then we have A. I will print A okay like this now I will go and count I print the vertices that uh, uh, vertices to A or the adjacent or the connected vertex to A so I will go through the column here and I will check any one of S H inside this row and this column. I will print the vertices with column and the edge row and column. So here, for example, if I have weight four, I will print four. Now here we have, as we have mentioned, zero for B. With B, we have four. Then I think zero, zero. I think E, we have seven. Now, I will go through this row now. Row equals zero, yes. I will go to column zero. Is row and uh, is value in row zero and column zero, is it, it is edge, no. So I will go to column one. So I will search to, I will print four here. Okay, then I will go through the column, column by column inside this inner loop and I will print seven. Now, uh, uh, so, these are the weights. So here will be four and here will be seven. This is for the weight. Now for the first one here, 
As you can see, the column is starting from zero to four because we have يعني, A, B, C, D, E, F. So uh, I will start printing uh, uh, the vertices. So first of all, I have printed A like this. Now I am going to print the vertices. I will delete again here. So we have printed this one in this line. Now I am going to print vertices with the weight. So I have explained the weight here. We have four, we have seven. But <clears throat> what will I print here? I will build the vertices of columns. So if, as you can see here, if it is edge, now uh, zero, one, two, three, so it is edge in column one. And the vertices are sorted in the same way. We have A, B, C, D, E. Okay. Now we have zero, one, two, three, four. So I found edge here, which is four. And, and I, I have printed it. And also I want to print the name of the vertices that adjacent to A, which is V. So this vertice, vertice is exists in column. What? In column one. Here we have column one, and here we have column one. So I have a printed row column, zero, one, which is four. And also I have a printed from this array, the vertices in column one, which is A, B, C, D, E. It will be what? It will be B, right here. One, zero, one, two, three, four. So I will print A, then I will print B, four, then I will go through the column, and then I will print I will reach to column uh, uh, two, it is not an edge, column three is not an edge, so I will go to column four and I will print D, vertices of four, which is E, sorry, and I will print the weight, which is seven, based on this graph. Now, in the main program, as you can see here, <coughs> I just explain this one. I hold A, we have B, and we have what E. And uh, I will go, uh, yeah, the for loop will continue executing the two, uh, the two nested for loop, and we will print everything. Now, uh, here is the running program. I have seen the way, so I have. First of all, call the constructor. So I have I have five vertices based on this graph. One, two, three, four, five. So we have in the many program defined array of five. Now five will go to <coughs> this constructor here. <coughs> here and we will create the array based on five here. So now uh, vertices and edges array are initialized five by five. The vertices size is five and the two dimension array is five by five. Now I am going to set the vertices. So I will set vertices like this, as you can see here in the main program. Again, I will uh, first of all add the vertices set. I will add, I give row zero, then in row one, so uh, R will be zero, then will be incremented by one. Then I will set B in vertices location one, then location two, location three, location four. Why we have done that? Because now in the beginning row will be zero. Now it will set the value in zero, then the value will be incremented. As you can see here, the, uh, the pluses are on the right. So A will be in, uh, set in row zero, then row R will become one, then B will sit in row one row two, row three, row, row four, okay? Now I have filled this, the edges based on the graph. Here A, we have A and B. So now I have said, I have told, I have set the edge for B and A to four. I have set the edge for A because we are in row zero uh, and E to seven. Uh, I will try to just minimize this one just to here now, guys. So here we have this one zero one four zero and one. We have zero one four. 
So here we have the two dimension array in the edge, zero and one, which is for B, between B and what guys, A. So I have set the value zero, one, two, what, two, four. Then I have set the value here from A to E to what? Which is four, hey, column four to what, seven, and so on. So here we have filled the value <coughs> based on the, or we have drawn this graph, okay, based on the value here. So you might given this piece of code and you might been, have been asked to draw a graph or you might uh, being given this graph and you uh, will be asked to set the edges as a Java code here, okay? Finally, after that, we have called the print vertices one here. Then we have printed what the count vertices here. Okay, guys, based on the logic or what we have explained in this code and this code. That's all from my side. Uh, please listen to this lab uh, carefully and try to understand the structure or the memory requirement for creating a graph. Thank you, guys, and good luck.